to do that. Um, well, an Italian guy was fourth, and it was in Italy. Um, so in front of the home crowd, um, they actually had to sort of change the rule because it wasn't clear in the rule books what the rule should be, and that's sort of how um, there ended up being some confusion. Um, but yeah, that was that was a pretty cool honor to, to share with Fran. That yeah, it's, it's funny thing that that it's eight years ago, and wow, that's a long time ago. Meanwhile, we're back to the racing here with the girls 13, 14, 200 back. Jennifer Luong is in lane one for Nations Capital. In two is Josephine Fuller from Nova, Nova Virginia. In three, that's Haley Scholler from Central Bucks. Two, or in four is Zoe Dixon. Top team in this heat at 206.47 from Nova Virginia. In five is Maddie Pierce from Nova Virginia. In six, Paige McKenna from Nations Capital Swim Club. In seven is Julia Baroldi from Nations Capital. And in eight, Riley Brennan from the Suburban Seahawks Club. Uh, the 200 backstroke. Such a fun event if you like That's pain your territory. in your leg. Yeah, well, m more than yours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, if you like pain in your legs, it's a great event for the last day of the meet when you really don't want to do it. Um, I, I always like I always liked the rare meet when the 200 back wasn't on the last day because then you could get it done when you were a little fresher. And but then when it is on the last day, you get a little adrenaline for it. So. Um, but yeah, it, it, it hurts. It, it hurts the legs. Yeah, I mean, you really want to see, you know, working the underwaters with the way the sports developed. Um, such an under underwater focused event nowadays. Um, and that's really, especially short course, just going to burn up the legs. If for the 13, 14s, they're obviously not going to get 15 yards underwater. You might see some people going pretty far once we get to the senior boys. But these top few swimmers in the heat are are, are working it, and you see. Um, who is that? Maddie Pearson, lane five, got almost the 10 yards off that wall. Now, she does look like she's starting to hurt a little bit as they come closer to the finish. She was third there, but Josephine Fuller in two has moved past her, it looks like. And Zoe Dixon in four, trying to hold off Haley Schuller in lane three. What I like to see uh, from the younger backstrokers is the rotation. A lot of rotation here. Schuller is going to win it. Well, what a finish there for Haley Scholler. She goes a time of 205.25. Two seconds faster than she went this morning. Fuller came up for second, and Dixon was third.